this me again uh, up early in the morning ready to go with another video and this one I'm gonna talk about your boy John Cena so uh, on Monday Night Raw we got a little glimpse of a heel turn from your boy John Cena personally um, I think John Cena should turn heel anyway you know uh, let me go back um, to 2007 I was a real big fan of John Cena. Uh, it was around the time when him and Batista was doing their thing in the WWE. Um, I really felt like John Cena and Batista could have been the next Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. And that's where it was heading, you know. Um, back in 2005, when these two had, uh, came up in the uh, ranks winning the World Heavyweight title in the WWE title, we had the next Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin right there. You know what I'm saying? John Cena was a... And Batista had that magic that the Rock and Stone Cold had. You know, anybody could argue or beg to differ. You know, uh, but ever since John Cena's counterpart that left, and that would be Batista, John Cena has gotten stale. John Cena has gotten bored. John Cena had somebody who was equal to him, who was there to counterpoint his move every every second. You know what I'm saying? People probably don't agree with it. And some people probably don't. But John Cena had somebody there to, to uh, counterpoint his moves in every single second. It's kind of like, hold on, y'all. I got to take something off my computer real quick. I don't want to mess my video up. You know, that little arrow thing always popping up. But anyway, back to where I was at. Remember how Austin and Rock had that chemistry and they had they was our counterpoint in each other at each, every second? That's how John Cena and Batista was. They had that magic every time you seen them in the ring. You know, my boy Dave, he dominated SmackDown. You had your boy John on Raw. And then, you, uh, it's like back in 2002. When the draft first happened, you had Steve Austin as the face of Raw and The Rock as the face of SmackDown. So, um, let me hold the camera straight here. So, as Dave Batista left, probably about 2010, you know, because he was fed up with the PG stuff, you know. Uh, he didn't want to be a part of it. Uh, he didn't want to be a part of the madness of the PG era. But... After John, after Batista left, John Cena had just went into this little shell where he was just too PG. You know, he ain't had nobody to really have chemistry with. He didn't have it with CM Punk. He didn't have it with Randy Orton. He had it with Batista. That's what we had it with. That's why. Oh, sorry, y'all. But that's why um, I think John Cena needs to turn in heel anyway. Uh, John Cena he go turn will mean a lot for John Cena's character. Um, personally, I was a big fan of the John Cena before he started wearing these little rainbow color shirts. Because if you go back to 2007 and um, maybe 2006, John Cena was all about business. Uh, John Cena had some good matches with Edge. He had some good matches with Shawn Michaels. Um... He ran through Raw um, in that 2006, 2007 year. Um, I already really got up for the John Cena. But ever since um, maybe 2009, um, yeah, maybe started in 2009, John Cena has got on my nerves. Um, John Cena talks about silly things in the ring that don't absolutely make no sense. It caters to the rival that he's going against. For instance, The Rock. He gives the pe opponents props in the ring. Everybody can't stand him. They always booing him. So, a heel turn would be the best scenario for John Cena. You know, John Cena should turn heel at WrestleMania. WWE don't know how to how to write anymore because they can surely see that John Cena's character has fallen down the water. But look, how about if you had John Cena to join the Shield? 
the John Cena Rock match needs some kind of twist to it. Remember how Steve Austin turned heel in WrestleMania 17 against The Rock? Nobody expected that. But John Cena teased a little heel turn on Raw, saying he wanted to decimate The Rock. But, look, what if at WrestleMania 29, John Cena gets so frustrated that uh, he can't beat The Rock, and he's doing all these dirty moves, and um, he ended up uh, taking the belt from The Rock. Anyway, and then the shield comes back and picks the bones and later reveals that John Cena is the leader of the shield. That would be some awesome um, way to get people to like John Cena. You know, uh, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe if he teamed up with Paul Heyman. Who can expect him to join forces with Paul Heyman? You know, remember how Steve Austin did it when um, Rocket Austin was in that ring battling Vince McMahon came down there. And um, they was fighting for the belt, and Vince McMahon threw the cherry into Steve Austin. And that's when everybody knew the Stone Cold was turning heel. That was the worst heat that anybody could get from a WWE superstar. And I was upset that Stone Cold turned heel. I didn't like it. I, I was behind Stone Cold. But this current John Cena that we got now is it's boring, you know. At first, when he got the orange shirt, I accepted it. You know, I accepted the orange shirt. But then he got the purple one. I said, oh, iffy, iffy. And then the red one came. I was like, okay. It was, that's when the, the boiling point was coming, when he got the green shirt. And then he got the little, uh, what shirt he got after that? Um, He got the little black shirt going into the WrestleMania season with The Rock. You know what I'm saying? And, and then it got worse from that. And then he came up with the breast cancer over in the shirt. You know, John Cena is done now. I think he needs a change. But everybody needs a change once in a while. You know, I even think that Randy Orton needs a change too. You know, The Rock was the biggest heel in the company at one point. You know, uh, being a bad guy ain't all so bad. You know, I know the little kiddies like John Cena a lot. Yeah, I know the little kitties like John Cena. And they'll be upset if that little hero turns to a bad guy. So what? That's WWE problem now. They care too much for the kids. And they want to... They care too much what the kids think. So what? It was all about what the adults thought back in the day. You know, it was all about what, what we wanted. Not what they wanted. I was a kid and I didn't complaining about the WWE at all. You know. But this little current John Cena we got now needs to go before I throw up. You know. And um, that little tease at, at Raw, I don't think it mean a damn thing. I think John Cena going to stay the same. And I hope he gets his little butt kick at WrestleMania 29 against The Rock so he can explode into a jelly bean and burst into like a fiery red devil or something. You know, I don't really care about this guy no more. I don't have to with him. He do the same thing. He done had the same cre creeping freaking music since 2005. You know, it, I don't have to listen to this. Since 2005. Change your dang old music, John Cena. Shoot. Everybody tired of hearing this song. I'm not the only one that's tired of it. The world is tired of you. You know, the world is tired of your boring, rainbow color looking self. You know, so uh, please turn them here, WWE, uh, before I quit watching this trash. Okay, that was your boy signing out uh, and hoping that John Cena turn heel soon. Peace.